<laughs> hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am live in my kitchen. I have Jamie Goldberg on the line. Jamie. Hungry Girl. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Do people, do you think anyone actually thinks you call me Hungry Girl? <laughs> I like when people ask me if I know you. Do, wait, do people really ask that? Wait, do, are we, am I live? Wait, are we live? <laughs> people say, do you know her? Yeah. That, I mean, we only do, we've done like 500 podcasts together. That, do, they, do they ask you if I'm really short? Do they say, is she really short in person? <laughs> no, they don't. You're not answering. Anyway, we have Lauren in the house. Hi. Lauren is here visiting. She's a visitor because, yes, she, she moved away. She has moved far away to the town of lovely, lovely Encino. Did you say you moved away part time? Yeah. <laughs> That's news to me <laughs> because your bedroom is clear. Anyway, um, very, very excited to be here tonight for various reasons. First reason is I have a fairly new angle on the camera. Can you tell Jamie that the camera's sort of pointing down so you can see more of the counter? Yes, it's also very flattering. It is? Well, thank you, because when you shoot somebody up, they look bad. But I'm wearing my big shoes, which I probably don't need to do, but if I took them off, I'd look like this, which would be a little weird. Anyway, so the, I'm gonna, my first question of the day, because you know I always have trivia questions, and we have a lot to cover tonight. If you know I have a can of something holding this iPad up in place, if you guess correctly what it is a can of, you win a really special, fancy prize that I'm not even going to announce you get like a super fantastic prize. So there's a can of something holding up my iPad. You have to guess what it is. That is not an official trivia question and that is not an official prize, but I will now go through the prizes of the night even before I tell you what the recipe is. Do you see this? Look how cute these are. If you guys know what this is, you should say, hey Lisa, I recognize that. Does anyone out there own this? These are the very vintage, very cute, very adorable, hungry girl, chew the right thing recipe card collection. This is like a classic situation right here. They're beautiful recipe cards. How many are there? I don't know, 50. Oh yeah, 50. 50, not just 50 foods. These are 50 foods that you crave, that you personally crave these foods. Rockin' restaurant spinach dip and eggs benedict. I bet you're all craving eggs benedict now. Ginormous cereal bowl, chocolate chip, pancakes, peanut butter, chocolate bread pudding bonanza. I mean, you name it, we have a recipe for it in this recipe card set that comes in a very cute little box. Look at that, pigs in a blanket. You can win this tonight. You can also hey, win, I yes. Have huge news. What's that? That set of recipe cards is currently 65% off on Amazon, Six? but there's only 15 left. What? Wait, there's only 15 oh, left. You post. Jamie's gonna post a link. There's, uh, it's 65% off, which makes it practically free. Um, it's on Amazon. This is a recipe card set from many years ago. I don't know how many years ago, but many <laughs> is my answer. You could also win these beautiful measuring spoons right there for your measuring pleasure. Um, and what else? I have the art of the day because I'm burying the lead about the recipe. What color am I wearing? Purple, am I in purple? What is purple? Famously, grapes. Have a grape day. The recipe tonight involves grapes. It's a frozen grape recipe. Have a grape day. I remember to sign this one. If you want this, click like. The way, the way you have a chance to win is you have to play along. You have to answer some questions. You have to share the video. You have to ask me questions which I love. So right now, if you have any questions for me, I'm gonna be answering questions throughout this live. I love answering questions. Doesn't have to be about grapes, doesn't have to be about my purple shirt, but that's how you win. So you could win that, you can win that, or you can win that, those beautiful spoons. And I'm also gonna be asking you grape trivia questions. Starting with, first of all, do I remind you of a cartoon character? You can say it, Jamie. <laughs> you don't remind me of a cartoon. You remind me of Cartoon Hungry Girl. Okay, well, that's true. I should do that. But I'm dressed the color of a very famous cartoon character that has to do with grapes. His name is Grape Ape. Do you oh. know Grape Ape? All right, if you guys know Grape Ape, he was a Hanna-Barbera ape. And uh, my first trivia question has to do with Grape Ape. 
he was very famous in, what, the 80s, I think, but he made a comeback and he did a cameo in a TV commercial in 2012. In 2012, Grape Ape made a cameo in a television commercial for what product? If you know the answer, again, you don't have to get this correct. You could just guess anything and you have a good chance of winning, but if you know it, I'll think you're really smart, even if you Google it. So, do you know, Jamie? I bet you don't. No. All right, well, I'm gonna get to the point. The point is tonight I am making a frozen grape recipe. These are my Froyo grapesicles. I don't know if you've ever seen these. These are absolutely adorable and delicious. The ones that I have put on the website don't look exactly like this because I took some liberties with this recipe and I made them even more fun, which I'm gonna show you how to do tonight. So these are some that I made yesterday and I made them look to these. I mean, they're, they're kind of cute, right? This, this looks like a grape on a stick wearing a George Washington wig. <laughs> a blue George Washington wig. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being crazy. But it, it does. I'm not wrong. Or it looks like cotton candy. I don't know. It looks like all the presidents of the United States. All your grapes can look just like the presidents. Um, but what I love about these is that it's so simple. The kids love it. It's great for a hot day. It's, did you know that it was 130 degrees, which is the hottest recorded temperature on record here in this fine state of California yesterday in Death Valley? That's the hottest temperature on record since 1915. So if you guys are sweltering where you live, you will especially love this frozen, freezy, George Washington grape on a stick recipe. Mmm. It's so good. Are yes. You gonna tell us what the camera is sitting on? Well, did anybody wait, is anybody guessing? I have the two big guesses were a can wait. of pumpkin and a container of protein powder. Okay, Lauren says she saw someone guess it right and she knows. That it's sitting on a can of pineapple chunks. Oh. Dole pineapple chunks. So anyway, this is only seven calories each. Seven oh measly calories for this. I'm gonna finish this later. Too much food, I'm so full. Just kidding. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to make it. It couldn't be easier, and that is why I'm just playing around with you. I'm kibitzing, as my mother would say, because it's such a simple, simple recipe. And it calls for, these are seedless grapes. Is Mary in the house? Is my sister in the audience? Oh, she's here. All right, Mary, I have to tell you, she made me laugh so hard. She accidentally bought grapes at Costco yesterday, and she was just, Complain, complain, complain. She had grapes with seeds. And she was like, why do they even make grapes with seeds? And at first I was like, ha, 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 Mary, you know, grapes grow with seeds sometimes. But the truth is, who the hell wants grapes with seeds? Does anybody? Why do they still sell them? Good question. They should be free. <laughs> it's my opinion. Anyway, I have seedless grapes. The other uh, fantastic ingredient I have is Faye, total 0% Greek yogurt. And I'm gonna stray a little from my recipe that's online. I'm gonna send a, uh, post a link. We're gonna post a link and you could also just go to hungry-girl.com slash live to get the recipe. But tonight I'm gonna play around with it. The regular recipe calls for a little bit more specific, but you can just play and have fun. The idea is you wanna flavor up your Greek yogurt and then you wanna dip your grapes in it and then you wanna freeze them for like an hour or two and then you wanna enjoy them on a hot day. So what I've decided to do was I'm gonna make two separate little bowls of yogurt. So I took my one container. The real recipe just calls for a half cup of yogurt, so it's not even the whole container. It calls for two cups of grapes, a half cup of yogurt, blah, blah, blah. All right, now I'm gonna flavor it up. So the traditional recipe calls for a little bit of sweetener in the half cup. I use two sweeteners, so I'm using a little less. I'm only gonna use one sweetener. And then a little bit of vanilla, maybe like an eighth, a little less than an eighth. For your recipe, if you follow it to a T, it'll be an eighth. Um, so that was a quarter, but I just didn't fill it up the whole way. And then I'm gonna mix this together. Do you see this? So the idea of this is we're taking the tart Greek yogurt, which is gonna be the topping for the grapes. I'm using the back of the spoon, isn't that clever? Mix this up just to get a nice little vanilla, a sweet vanilla flavor for the coating. Anything going on? No, they want to know the answer to the trivia. Oh, the trivia. Did anybody guess? Wait, did anybody guess what commercial it was? A MetLife commercial? 
Yes, it was MetLife. Grape Ape was selling insurance. MetLife is insurance, right? This smells great. All right, so this is vanilla Greek. All right, now to change things up. This is where I'm going to have some fun. So you know I'm obsessed with these like drink mix powder packets, and I thought, well, wouldn't it be a good idea, especially for kids, if you have kids or you know kids, just to use one of these flavored drink mixes to flavor up your yogurt, just to make it a little different and fun. And that's why mine are colorful from yesterday. So I'm gonna use maybe a half a packet of this pineapple crush drink mix powder that Jamie is going to link to, right? Yes. Okay, so just to be different, I'm not using the back of the spoon, probably because if I did, my hands would get full of yogurt. That would not be cute or fun or pretty. This looks like yellow tie dye. And I'm making a pineapple tart Greek yogurt that is incredible. You can use fruit punch flavoring. You can add coconut to your pineapple and have pina colada grapes. You can use blue raspberry like, and make this George Washington grape like I made yesterday. Whatever you want, just play, 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 and have fun with it. So, okay, so what kind of yogurt is that? This is Faye Greek Total Zero Percent. So this is a completely fat-free, unflavored Greek yogurt. There's the container. You can get up close to your whatever you are on a computer, a phone, wherever, anyway. Um, but that's what you need and that's where we are. So now, again, the recipe calls for like something fancy like a cookie sheet and parchment paper. I don't even like, I honestly, I think I'm out of parchment paper, sadly. So I just have a plate with foil because this works perfectly well. I think everybody at home, if you have a plate and foil, click I have like and let me know. Hey, I have a plate and foil. And then you need some toothpicks. I have colorful. Should I use the colorful ones? Yes. <laughs> Lauren's like, yes, please. All right. Um, and now this is the fun part. So you take, these are grapes that I washed. The recipe calls for two cups of grapes. I didn't really feel like doing this with like 900,000 grapes, but... I only put a cup of grapes here, so I'm gonna make some. So you put your grape on your toothpick and then you just swirl it around, see that? And you coat it nicely. So you have a coated, beautiful, look how pretty that is, grape. And then you put that on your plate and you're gonna do this for three and a half hours until all your grapes are covered. Just kidding, it'll take like five minutes. Not three and a half hours. This one is just a plain vanilla one. Do you see? Does anyone have questions out there? Well, Dan is furious about his pineapple state hijack. What? Oh no! I'm not. Di I'm not disturbing the pineapples. They are staying intact. We have like 48 cans of pineapples in this house. Truth, truth be told, I, I promise. By the way, the majority of the comments coming in are from Dan about the pineapple. Whoa! I rate. What's happening? He's usually so silent during these events. Lisa, does it stick to the foil? Do you spray the foil? No, you don't have to spray the foil. Say I did this yesterday and I just threw it on the foil and they just came right up. So I'm just lining them up and I'm making beautiful grapes. And you know what? Even if you don't freeze it, if you just ate them like this, they're pretty delicious, I have to say. All right, do you want more grape trivia? I think you do. Always, always trivia. Always. All right, how many calories are in a cup of grapes? I found, by the way, 19 competing answers on the internet. And I'm gonna throw out a second question at the same time. How and when did grapes come to America? It was not on the Mayflower with the pilgrims. What year did the Mayflower come here? I don't, <laughs> crickets, and everybody's like, what? No, I don't know. Anyway, so how did grapes get here? How did grapes get here? And who brought them here? And why are we graced with grapes right now? That's another trivia question, so we have two. These are beautiful, and I have to tell you, when they freeze, when you freeze a grape, it tastes like a popsicle. So we call these grapesicles. Um, we used to freeze grapes and let our dogs play with them back in the, uh, in the 80s, but Grapes are very dangerous for dogs, so we don't do that anymore. Oh, wow. I didn't know that, but I had dogs that played with frozen grapes all the time. Little did I know. Do not try that at home. Okay, so you see this? This is fun. I'm just lining them up. This, is this like watching paint dry? Is this, no, how much? I'm satisfied. 
satisfied. It's that Lauren's like, I'm satisfied. Lauren's just excited just to be anywhere with another human being now that she lives that alone. True. Any sort of interaction with a person is a good a good experience for Lauren. She's right, very lonely. How many calories are in a cup of pineapple? You know, a cup of grapes. <laughs> a cup of grapes. <laughs> I could I could In a cup of pineapple, it's 140 calories, according to my can that I'm staring at. But in a cup of grapes, I have seen all over the internet, it's probably 100, because that's what I always count. But I saw some sites that said 62. That got me excited. But I, maybe that's seeded grapes, because there's just less surface area and there's more seeds. But I say it's about 100. Jamie, you're like a Wikipedia. You're like the calorie yeah, counter. I, I co-sign that. 100. It's 100. Okay. There you go. How did grapes come to America? Is anyone answering that? Well, they're saying Spain, Italy. That's, those are the answers. Spain. We're yes, Spain. 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 The Spanish brought the grapes to America in uh, 300 years ago. In 300 years ago is, <laughs> is, is when they brought them here. Okay, next trivia question, because then I'm going to be done with this, and I'm going to tell you, you put it in your freezer, and then you freeze it for like one to two hours, and you get little yummy grapesicles. Next trivia question, how many grapes does it take to make a bottle of wine? A bottle of wine. I think this answer is incorrect, personally. Do you think it's too high or too low? I think it's too low. I thought you needed like 500 million grapes to make a bottle of wine. The answer is a lot lower than that. And I'm thinking, is it correct or is it incorrect? But I, this is not an answer anyone would know. You really kind of have to look it up on the interweb. But look it up and see what you think we all might be looking at the same website that gives wrong answers and that's totally fine if that's the case and then i'll let you know but look these grapes are adorable and what a fun summer bonanza i have to tell you my grapes today are smaller than the grapes yesterday because my not only does my husband love pineapple he loves grapes and he ate all the large grapes yesterday <laughs> it's a good thing i had the backup grapes what at least he left you some for this demo, or it would have been very... Uh, That's, no, these were hidden. These were my Aldi grapes that I got yesterday. <laughs> they were my backup grapes. So I'm going to take this, put this in the freezer, um, and let it sit for like an hour to two hours, and then I will have grapesicles. I have to be honest, the pineapple ones are amazing. Look, this one looks like... I don't know who... This looks like someone with a big yellow blonde wig. That's like a face on that one. Yeah, mm. The pineapple with the grape is my favorite flavor, so it's really, really good. Any other questions coming in? Well, how, so we're getting lots of answers. Okay. Anywhere from 500 grapes to 5 pounds of grapes. Is it a number? Or is it well, a it's pounds, and the answer is 2.5 pounds, which is not really, that's not a lot of grapes yeah, to me. Oh, I'm going to try stepping on 2.5 pounds of grapes tonight and see what happens. That would <laughs> okay, and then the next, do we, do we have another question? Did I ask another one? How many varieties of grapes are there? Jamie, I want you to guess this one. How many varieties? Mm, more than yeah. 10? More than 20? Yeah. More than 100? I feel like it's around 100. 8,000. No way. There's 8,000 varieties of grapes. And my final question for the night is going to be, true or false, there are pink grapes. Are there pink grapes? I mean, if there's 8,000 varieties, one of them has to be pink. <laughs> you know, you're right. There are pink grapes. All right, people, I am graped out. I am f fresh out of grape questions and trivia questions. But you guys, I'm going to be looking at these comments. Gina is going to be choosing winners. The winners probably won't be chosen until tomorrow morning, so you should share this video with as many people as you know and like, or even some of the people you don't really like, because they deserve to know this. When you look at the, um, at the recipe online, you're going to see that there are zero points in this recipe, which I think is super exciting to the Weight Watchers and the points counters out there. And you get, what, 10 grapes for 70 calories. And there's some protein. So all in all, this is a fantastic recipe. It's great for summer. It's great for kids. It's great. It's just all around great. <laughs> Wait, so we have two questions before okay. you go. Yep. One, have you tried cotton candy grapes? 
I have tried cotton candy grapes and I love them. They taste just like cotton candy. So if you see them, they're in season now, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're in season. You should grab some because they're only in season for a limited time and they taste exactly like cotton candy. <laughs> Next question. They're dying to know, are there pink grapes? Yes, there are pink grapes. There are, I've never seen them, but they exist. I'm only hoping they're this color pink, like the measuring spoons that you can win if you interact. How many comments are there right now? I'm seeing 527. 500, you better up your game, people. More comments, please. <laughs> All right, you can win good prizes tonight. We've got the artwork, we've got the spoons, we've got the lovely and talented Hungry Girl. Comments. I think it, it just updated. Oh good, there's a thousand comments. That's good, that's good. All right, well, if you have nothing else to say, I'm gonna go. Uh, it's sweltering here, so I'm gonna go make sure I stay cool. I'm gonna eat some frozen grapes that look like George Washington. I'm gonna think about recipes for the future. What else can I tell everybody? You have to sign up for the Hungry Girl daily emails. If you don't already get them, you should, and you can do that by going to hungry-girl.com. Hi, Jeff Hacker. Hi. Um, and also, if you wanna see all these recipes that I make live on Facebook, go to hungry-girl.com slash live and they're all there and you can watch the videos and you can get the recipes so we are here for you and i'm gonna sign off now so as you know i'm lisa lillian also known as hungry girl till next time chew the right thing